And that brings us now to a traffic alert to let you know about. A busy bridge in the heart of our city will close next week and stay that way for more than a month. Corrine Zell is live at the Water Street Bridge where many commuters and neighbors are only now learning of the planned closure, huh, Corrine? George, the bridge connects two neighborhoods, so beginning Monday, you'll need to figure out a different way to get back and forth. It's not a huge bridge, but people who live and work nearby use it pretty much every day. Both biking and driving, so this is easier than uh, Highway 94, so I just would rather come here sometimes than... Um, use the highway. Water Street Bridge connects the third and fifth wards or Walker's Point. I park right down there and then I go to school right there. So I take this bridge like every day. It will definitely affect my commute times. In and out of the car. I'm going to have to walk like all the way around to the next bridge now, so I'm not, not too happy about it. <laughs> Commuters say the closure means leaving for work 10 to 15 minutes ahead of time. I do like to take this route to go to um, I-94, so uh, yeah, definitely is going to have a lot of effect on my commute every day. Drivers can use the Broadway Avenue Bridge and 2nd Street Bridge. Traffic going north will be diverted off Water Street at the KK River Trail. Southbound traffic will be detoured at Erie. So it's going to be like a little bit stressful trying to find, figure out how to like navigate differently. The Department of Public Works says the center lock on the bridge will get an upgrade, ultimately leading to less noise. And if it's needed, then whatever, it's efficient in the long term. The businesses in the area will remain open. The bridge will be closed through December 16th. Live on the Water Street Bridge, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4.